The term carbon footprint describes the number of greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere through individuals, organizations, or communities. The United States Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, reports that, since 1970, CO2 emissions have increased by about 90%, with emissions from fossil fuel combustion and industrial processes contributing about 78% of total greenhouse gas emissions increase from 1970 to 2011. Android and iOS apps such as Clima, My Earth, Carbon Footprint and CO2 Tracker, Jewelbug, Earth Hero, Green Karma, and Paw Print can help individuals track their carbon footprint. But the onus isn't just on individuals to change how they operate daily, but also the systems that we depend on. Companies like Planet A and Planetly vow to help businesses transition to a net zero economy while improving their ESG performance. But how does this work? Carbon tracking apps, like the apps and companies mention, work by holding individuals and organizations accountable while providing ways to measure and track carbon emissions. For example, Planetly offers services that not only allow companies to calculate their carbon footprints, but also identify ways to offset, reduce, and manage their ESG performance. Plan A is a supplier of decarbonizing and ESG optimization software solutions. Their end-to-end -end software solutions automate CO2 emissions calculations, carbon mitigation planning, and ESG reporting for businesses. Being able to calculate greenhouse gas emissions that result from direct and indirect activities allows for a clear picture of carbon footprints and opportunities for making reductions. These innovations are especially important as the effects of climate change continue to impact communities globally. While sustainability is largely voluntary in the U.S. and for individuals worldwide, European governments require approximately 11,600 companies to provide mandatory tracking requirements and standardization metrics for corporate sustainability. This program is set to expand in 2022. Major and smaller companies are also reducing their carbon footprint through employee education, environmentally friendly projects, carbon offsetting, choosing renewable energy sources, and vowing to reduce, reuse, and recycle. The good news is, companies tracking their net zero emissions in the United States have grown from 500 to 1,500 in the past few years. My name is Sydney Chandler, and I encourage everyone to know what their carbon footprint is and find ways to reduce it.